Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna check out The Legend of Zelda Indigo Project. This is a unfinished ROM hack that actually has two demos to it. There's a little test file that I made right there just to make sure things worked okay. So we're gonna delete that. Um, so yeah, this looks really cool. Um, demo one is what we're doing right now. Um, there's tons of new items and graphical overhauls and stuff. So let's dive right in and check it out, see what it has to offer. We start out with a bunch of hearts, it looks like. And we're right in, looks like Snowhead from Majora's Mask. As Adult Link, we walk really fast, holy crap. What does the sign say? Hello, thank you so much for playing this demo. Check the signs across the bridge to your right for more info. Oh, and our fairy is um, the other fairy from Majora's Mask. Tail, I think it is. Tattle and tail. Tattle tail. Signs. Feedback. The main purpose of this demo is to decide if it's worth continuing with the project or not. I'm trying out a lot of different ideas, and if people like the direction this is heading in, I'd love to continue. Of course, if most people think it's a dud, I don't want to waste my or anyone else's time. All that said, please reach out to Discord on Discord with comments, complaints, suggestions of bugs, video recordings, or streams especially. Okay. Tip zero, Link runs fastest with his equipment put away. This is the fastest form of non-glitch travel. Yes, even faster than backwalking. Wow. Tip one, you can press D-pad down to flip the C buttons over for another set of item equips. Hmm. Tip two, boots and tunics can be equipped to C buttons just like regular items. Tail has some new insights about enemies. Many have specific weaknesses, so don't be afraid to ask him for advice. Huh. Oh, so like two sets of C buttons by pressing D-pad down. Gotcha. Hmm. And definitely fast walking and faster than back walking. Wow. That's pretty cool. Debugging features. I've left some debugging stuff active. This is the first release and you might will run into issues. Use them at your discretion to get out of a bind or help submit detailed bug reports or just explore if you really want. Collision view. Hold L, press D-pad left. To fly, hold L, press D-pad right. Controls A down, B up, D-pad move. Map select, hold L plus R plus press Z. Hold L and press D-pad left. Huh. So it shows the collision, I guess, on uh, stuff. Like a cylinder in my face. Can we turn it off? Yeah. And what was it? Fly, D-pad, or L and D-pad right. I'm stuck. Oh, wait. No, I'm not stuck. D-pad. Okay, D-pad move. And oh, wow. This is... This could break things. Oh, boy. Let's turn it off. And... Wow. No fall damage. Okay. Neat. So no music right now. The rocks are a little different texture there. The uh, <clears throat> the C button are a little different in the menu at the top. What do you got in here? And Link's tunic is a little bit more of a flatter green, more like Twilight Princess. Oh, Indigo version 1.0.1.10. Huh. Current position Hyrule Field. Save it. All right. So what can we do here? Um, can we go inside this house? <laughs> it puts it right back outside. Okay, that's fine. This is just a demo. Uh, wait, you don't have a weapon? Dangerous monsters are ahead. Hmm. Could you knock some branches loose from one of the trees? It's better than nothing, maybe. Oh. Oh, wow. You got a Deku stick. I'll select item subscreen, set it to C, and swing it with C. When you want to put it away, you can still and still press A. You can carry up to 10 sticks, but don't waste them. So I guess we'll use these as a weapon for now. So we're going to go full Tears of the Kingdom uh, method here. <laughs> Use sticks for weapons. All right, so it looks like back there is the only way we can go. Because this is nothing. Oh, wait, no, that is something. Oh, it leads back here. All right, let's go this way then. Oh. This looks ominous. Silver Tektite. It's larger and more aggressive. It only lives in cold climates. Maybe it's weak to fire. I don't have any kind of fire right now. So I guess we knock the stuff out of the trees as our weapon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy crap. This guy moves fast. And he's tough. Holy crap. Die. 
Oh my gosh. That was crazy. <laughs> I almost died just from that tektite. Took all my hearts down to like two. That's crazy. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna have some difficulty then. Oh, weak to fire. Okay, I see. Ah, okay. I saw the second torch there. I was like, oh, I, I understand what I need to do now. Gotcha. So what do we got going on here? We got a mountain path. Hmm. Fire. So what's upstairs? Upstairs. Ooh. Perilous pathway here. No music, so it's really strange. Hmm. That's tall. Oh wow, the climbing's faster too. I like it. Turbo climb! <laughs> What's at the top though? I don't even know what all you can do in this demo, like what's what's even to do, so we're just going completely blind here. The, uh, banker dude. Wow, what a waste of time that was. There's not even anything here. Who does that? Ha, ha, ha. Trolled. That's fine, though. It's a cool little, uh, mountaintop area here. So rolling is actually slower than walking. That's a first. Um. Uh-oh. Now we're down to one heart. At least we don't have the beeping. That's a nice little uh, quality of life. Not have to worry about the beeping. Thanks, Dev. And rolling is slower, so we don't have an incentive to go hoo yeah, hoo yeah, hoo yeah every two seconds. All right, so I guess we'll go down with our one heart to our name. Oh boy, I feel like we're gonna die. These things are aggressive as crap. Woo. Close. So every tree drops sticks. Can you hit them more than once? Yes, you can. All right, so you can have an infinite supply of sticks. Gotcha. Better light our stick just to be ready for anything that's over here, because you never know. Oh, I guess this is an exit. Whoa. A little lag going on. It seems to happen to some ROM hacks, like, get a little bit of lag. Bushes. We can grab them and throw them, but we don't have a sword. Can we cut the bushes with the Deku Six? We cannot. Stop lagging. It's funny because it started doing that, like, in the beginning of Nippy's Adventure, and then I didn't have that problem at all, like, any time after that. But now with this one, it's acting weird. Ooh, that was a rough stutter. Hey, fairy, thank you. But the tech type's taken off. Ooh, music. All right, cool. So this Hyrule Field then? Looks like it. I wish it would stop lagging, it's annoying. Huh. So some similar layouts to traditional Hyrule field. Let me turn it down in my headphones. It's just a tad loud. Huh. So I wonder where that goes. We got quite the open field here. I'm not sure what's all out here. I see like the castle over there. This layout is throwing me off. I guess probably just go into the first doorway that we see see what's in there so we came from over there that's where the uh, snow mountain was let's go this way see what happens worst can happen is nothing oh forest no music kokiri meadow shop what's in the shop ah we got some stuff 
Are you here to visit the hero's tomb? Please be respectful. She... We're still alive because of her. Hmm? My sister said she saw a spirit at the tomb. I told her to stay out, but do you think she saw the ancient Kokiri hero? So an ancient Kokiri hero girl? What are you buying? Daiku nuts, arrows... How much is the boomerang? 150! Daiku shield, 40. Fairy spirit. So we need more rupees, it looks like. Typical rupees for the shield. 40. We're full on sticks, so I need to keep doing that. What do you have to say, huh? Hi, mister. See that light over there? It just appeared a few days ago. I walked into it once and got teleported somewhere strange. It really scared me, mister. What do you think it is? The light over there, I guess she's just talking about. See if these bushes have any more rupees. Yes. So Deku Shield, can we equip that as adult link though? I don't know. I guess we'll find out if we buy it. The slow way of getting rid of these bushes. Hey, another heart. Top us off. Nice. Oh, don't mind me. Just picking up and throwing bushes. I'm assuming all the trees just have the sticks. Yeah. What does this say? You should have a sword before visiting this area. Imagine a thick layer of vines you need to cut. In progress. Oh. Alright, so it's telling us we should have a sword. So let's not go there right now. Not at the moment. We can get these bushes again. Get some rupees, hopefully. Rupee farm. Uh-oh. Did they not drop anymore after you get them the first time? Oh, wait. No, there it is. Yay, 40. Might as well get them all just to kind of have a little potential extras. Another five. And another five. Oh, lucky. And a one. Nice. All right, let's grab the shield and see if that's a thing. What are you buying? You got a deck of shield. Switch to the equipment subscreen and select the, to press A or to crouch. The text is a lot faster too, which is nice. It's, it's not crawling. I like the quality of life setups here. Oh, wow. It's small. But hey, I guess uh, I guess it works. It's better than nothing, I guess. What about this light that this girl's talking about? Teleported off somewhere strange, huh? Oh. The next dungeon in the demo will be the fifth and sixth dungeon in the final game. Fifth or sixth dungeon in the final game, so you will need more items to tackle it. This short gauntlet will provide you with all the items the player should have before reaching the dungeon. Enjoy. Okay. But the only problem is we don't have a bow or anything to get inside. So maybe we don't need to be here yet, but remember that it's there. Gerudo Trading Grounds, I see. Hmm. Fascinating. I always love new Ocarina of Time stuff. What's in here? Ah, traditional Lost Wars theme. I don't know why I keep bonking the trees. I know what's going to happen. What is this? Tomb of the Ancient Kokiri Hero. May her spirit watch over this final resting place. Okay. Who are you? Are you here for the treasure? You aren't the first to try. Listen, if you see a spirit, just leave her alone, okay? Mm, okay. So we got a maze. Oh, it's a good thing I grabbed a shield. All I have is Deku sticks. Oh wow, <laughs> you shoot really fast. The bullet was going like 100 miles an hour. It's kind of winging it here. Ow. I should be wasting Deku sticks on these guys. A heart, though. Oh! Tiny spider! <laughs> that was weird. I see bridges above us, though. Music gets louder in spots, too. That's supposed to indicate which way we're going? Aha! I see another tiny spider. You can't fool me this time. Bye bye. All right. Oh, I guess that's uh. Ooh, treasure chest. 
Watch, that's probably like the bow or something like that since they showed a Sigurudo training round. What would it be? The Kokiri sword, okay. So adult, um, Kokiri sword? That's kind of weird. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. Oh snap, a tiny Staphos with a green flame on his head. What does Tail have to say? Staphos, oh small foes. <laughs> it's about Kokiri size. Wait, do you think? What? Uh, uh, the sound. Uh, wait, what's going on? It's dark now. Deku Nut? Why is there a battle music now? Um. Oh, is that the is that the the ghost of the hero, or whatever that she said to leave alone? Oh crap! Maybe I wasn't supposed to kill that. I love the fast climb though. I feel like I angered something. I'm actually very scared right now. I feel like I should get out of here. Oh snap! Why would I do that? That was dumb. Bye bye. What happens if I leave and go back in? Because I kind of wanted to see the rest of the top area. Oh no, everything's still kind of angry. Never mind. But I have a sword now, so I can go in that one area that it said you need a sword for this area. And now I got these bushes a lot easier too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's so weird seeing an adult Link carry the Kokiri sword though. Oh, and you run faster with your equipment away. It's also much easier to push your equipment away than usual because it lets you... The command changes right away. Hmm. I like it. And I love this fast run. It's like Bunnyhood on steroids. This this is our Deku tree. Tattle and I have been back, haven't been back in a long, long time after it died. She must have come here looking for something, don't you think? Let's head inside. Maybe my sister is still here. Or at least a clue. Deku tree looks a little... A little different. Taller. A little bit more... Uh, Sharper edges. Huh. Water's kind of strange. It's like still. Is there anything behind the tree? Probably not. Vanilla music. Nope, nothing behind here. Didn't really expect there to be, but you never know what these uh, devs will hide inside nooks and crannies. I like it so far. And we haven't even gotten that far. Well, I pretty much like anything Ocarina of Time, so I'm not hard to please. Alright, inside we go, I guess. Whoa. Well, I guess we're going right into a slope. Can we get back out that way, then? Probably. All right, so we got a key door. Let's see. Switches, torches, custom stuff. I love it. All right, well, I guess go through the first door that we can actually access. I see an eye switch. So maybe we'll get the bow in here. Boss key chest. Be careful, it looks like that water current is really strong. Try not to fall in, okay? Hmm. There's a reason she's warning us, or he actually, because it's Tattle now, is warning us about that. Um. Yeah, that is going pretty fast, isn't it? I wonder if I, can I jump onto that block? Uh, nope. Uh-oh. Well, I fell in like they told me not to. Oops. Well. So, ah, why did, <laughs> I'm not used to running so fast, I ran up to the ledge and walked right in. Whoops. So, I can't get over there. Unless, maybe, nah, there's definitely no way I can reach that, unless I grab on that little ledge, but I don't think that's possible. Try one more time. Just because. 
I doubt it though. Uh, oh, well I grabbed it, but it did the little flip off on the edge thing. All right, so it doesn't look like I can get over there right now. Never mind. There's the boss door. Obviously, boss key. Ooh, the pots are different. That's cool. Custom pot textures. I like it. So you definitely go slower going up a slope, but that's realistic, you know? You would go slower going up a slope versus a straight path. Some realistic physics. Get some hearts back. Let's see if we can get that switch. Oh, I don't know. That's kind of high up. I feel like that switch is going to light the torch, too. There's no way. Nope. Well, maybe we can't do anything inside here at all, because I'm kind of feeling uh, like we're at a standstill, because we need the bow for the eye switch. Can't get up there. That's blocked. I'm imagining that switch will light the torch. But we have a sword. Doesn't count for much, but we have a sword. Unless I'm missing something. That's the entrance. <sighs> eye switch. There's got to be something to do with this room. What about this block? Fast pull. Thank you. Ah, see, I didn't check all the spots. You can crawl through here, I see. And the crawl is faster, too. Everything's faster. I love it. All the stuff that makes OG vanilla... OG vanilla. Okay, no, whoa. I wonder what Tattle has to say about those. Well, it's not Tattle, it's Tail. I keep saying... I'm not used to saying Tail. I see you there. Gama larva. Goma, sorry. These will pass at you if you're from far away. Fortunately, there's weak and just hatched. All right. So the usual. Nothing different. What about this block? All right, so we push it this way. Or not. Oh wait, no, is this the, uh... hold on a minute. So that block. Is that the block that's blocking the platform by the water? I feel like it is. It makes sense placement wise. Why else would it be there? Yeah, now we can get across. This will probably be a key for that door back there. It's the only thing I can think of that it would be. Yes. Nice. All right. All right, now we're getting somewhere. I'm glad I didn't leave, because that would have kind of been annoying. But I thought maybe that block in the other room needed to be moved. All right. Can we get another heart from here? Ooh. Getting laggy again. For, oh, that's a very large Deku Baba. Oh, different crate texture. Stop lagging. Ah! Ancient Deku Baba. It's huge. Be careful. How long has it been growing down here? Get up close and cut the stem. Alright. Die. Phew. Man, I took a lot of hits. But we got him. And a chest. And some lag to go with it. I don't understand the lag. Like, there's no reason that it should be doing that. And Nimpy's did that in the beginning, but then stopped, like, every other episode after that. Red rupee. That's 20 rupees. Nice. So... Oh, stick. Crap. Missed it! Let me say, can we bust the crates? Yeah. So, that's the door that we came in. I guess we'll go with this one. Got some Armos. Are they all uh, real? Or fake? Oh, that one's not. Can we even kill this? What does she say? He. Armos, stop its movement and then destroy it. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Whoa. That one's... That's the one that we can push. 
That's weird that I didn't wake up the other times that I hit it. Take that. Alright. Oh, I love that. Could've used that in that Master of Time episode where I had to push the armor statue on top of the block as I moved the block. But no matter. Simple enough. Oh, here's the switch for the torch. Nice. Progress. Now to scoot up that ladder. Fast. Oh yeah. Alright, what are we looking at here? Wow, oh, up the tree more, huh? Definitely a much larger scale Deku tree type deal. Wow, it goes really high up. Alright, we got some small Deku Baba. What do you have to say, tail? This one stopped growing for some reason. It looks dried out. It can't move like the regular ones. I like the new enemy lore from the fairy. It's pretty cool. Gotta remember to put away our equipment to walk faster. Although going up slope doesn't really seem to matter too much. Wee. Those spiders in the beginning really freaked me out though because they hit me so hard and they're like fast. But it makes sense, they're spiders, I guess. Fast, creepy, terrifying. I hate spiders. All right. What's in here? A torch. Got the super missile Dekus here. I don't know why I used to stick to kill him. I have a sword. That was dumb. At least I got it back. So, light the torches. One. Two and a three. Full rupees. Nice. This is quite the slope. Ow. Oh, big spider. Gigantula. How big can these get? Wait for it to expose its soft belly. Oh, wow. That's like a quick flip over. Wow. So you gotta like jump right away. Take more hits too, even with a jump attack. Alright. Back in the main room. I hear spooters. Skull Waltala. <laughs> if it sees you, stop moving. Oh. Different mechanic. So we gotta climb this wall with the spiders all over it. Gotcha! Do it carefully, I guess. You don't see me. Don't mind me. Creeping my way up the wall. Wow, how far away can they see you? Don't mind me. Um, I'm assuming that I can safely drop down here? Okay, good. Yeesh, that was scary. All right. Ah, that was almost a fail. Now we're kind of at the top. Doesn't seem to be any higher that we can go. Hope you're not afraid of heights. Alright, what's in here? Oh. oh. What do you say we take the quick way down? There's a pond right beneath us. Let's dive in. Uh, maybe we should grab this first. Maybe this will be the bow? Maybe, just maybe. We drink some water. Hmm. <laughs> I thought it might be fairy bow. Cool. All right. 
Nice. Take the quick way down, he says. All right. There's a pond right below us. Oh, this is the, uh, wee. Uh-oh. <laughs> you dive off the top of the Deku tree. That's pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. Oh, what? Oh, oops. Sorry. I thought it was going to be deeper. <laughs> you stupid. Okay. All right. That was pretty funny, actually. But it, look at all the health it took off me. Holy crap. I mean, it makes sense if you dive headfirst into a shallow lake from a million miles above. It's gonna, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna really hurt. All right, so now we have the bow. We can do the eye switch in here, I guess. And probably grab the boss key and go do the boss. Piece of cake. Give me that boss key. Dun, 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 dun. You got the boss key. Awesome. Well, we have half our hearts almost. A little bit more than half. Let's save it up real quick. I love how fast the menus move. Such a nice quality of life. Thing. We're gonna have traditional Goma fight. As adult Link, nonetheless. Door closed now. Oh, purple eye. Looks a little bigger, too. Yeah, it's definitely bigger because the camera doesn't know how to adjust to that. Oh, I love the colors. Traditional music. Whoa, man. Ow. Alright. Well, it doesn't stay stunned for long. And it's much faster. Holy crap. Can we knock him down? Yes. Alright. Definitely a much faster paced fight here. But easy enough. Take that. I love the larger Goma with the purple colors in the eye. That's awesome. And we get a heart. Second row already. Jump started. All right, cool. So remix Deku Tree. My leg just cracked. I don't know if the microphone picked that up. Oh. Okay. Well, now that we have the bow, we can uh, do that Gerudo training grounds type area, I guess. With the mysterious light that the girl was talking about. That's where that was, right? Full of rupees. But we can't get the boomerang that's in the shop because we don't have a big enough wallet. Let's go this way. Alright, let's see what awaits us in here. So this will be the fifth or sixth dungeon, it says, according to the sign. Oh boy. Stall, children. Wait, what? What? No. Wow, nothing hurts them? Stall child, blades and arrows will bounce off these hardened bones. Use heavy weapons or explosives to beat it. Alright, well, I guess we better check this chest. Maybe it's a heavy weapon or explosives. <laughs> Well, in uh, Nympies, we couldn't kill the Stealth Children except with the hammer, right? Oh, this is the hammer. Okay. So maybe some inspiration from uh, Nympies. Aha. Whoa. They, like, explode. That was pretty awesome. All right. So you can only kill them with the hammer. Kind of like in Nympies. Except for Nympies, I think you just hit them infinite infinitely until you realize, oh, I can't use sword. Can I break the rocks? Yes, I can. All right. Rupees that we don't necessarily need because we're full. What about this? The sign said that it was going to have all the night items you would need to get here. All right, bomb bag. You found 20 bombs inside. 
Ah, so our second set of items. That's handy. Oh, I love that. You can carry more stuff. Just some of these little crates. Bombs. And more bombs. Does the bombs explode faster than they usually do? That felt really fast. Unless it's just my imagination since everything else is so fast. I don't know. What else are we going to find in here? Uh oh, I hear re-deads. Not a chest, though. Bomb shoes. Uh, remote bomb shoes. And they're purple. Carry in place with C. Press C again to detonate. What? That's different. Oh my gosh! What the? Oh, no, 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 no. Holy crap, my heart just went, like, through the floor. Oh my god. That was freaking terrifying. That was like horror movie type stuff there. What's with the face too? Oh, that's weird. I did not expect that. <laughs> oh, okay, it's just like, skitter, skitter, skitter. You're dead, almost. Wow. It ate like half my health. All right, now that my heart can stop uh, pounding. Whoa, the bomb shoes. Oh, okay. So you press C to detonate it up there. Ooh, I'm still recovering from that scare. That was uh, absolutely terrifying. I'd say that's up there with the dead hand on the chest. Lava. Another major item, since they seem to be about to load us up with stuff. Rock's Feather. What? My favorite item from the Game Boy games. You feel lighter already. Equip it to sea and jump with a gust of wind, even in the air. What? Get out of here. So I'm not sure why the... Oh, I equipped the bow there. That's why. Getting used to the second item thing. What? Can we jump? Yo, an actual jump? That's so cool. That's awesome. All right. It's it said even in the air, so can we do it after we jump too? Yo, a double jump. That's so cool. I guess we have to make it over there now, huh? Oh, oh I love it. Um, How do we get up here though? Hmm. Maybe... No. So how are we supposed to get up here with this? Hmm. Can't double jump or anything, it looks like. Um. Oh, okay. So a backflip and a jump can push you forward a little bit. Okay, I see. So backflip, jump. Huh. That's a really cool mechanic, actually. I love that. Got some hearts. What is this going to be? Something involving the water, probably. Since we got a little pool in front of us. The iron boots. So heavy you can't run, so heavy you can't float. Well, I like our second set of... Uh, well, said you can equip them to the C buttons, right? So... Yeah. Quality of life. Oh, wow, and you sink a lot faster, too. Nice. You can't breathe underwater. Another item. Stop lagging, though. Water bomb bag. These bombs won't extinguish when they're submerged in water. All right, Twilight, Prin Twilight Princess much? I feel some inspiration from there. Yo, blue bombs. Well, actually, bombs are always blue. They're more like a purple color, but like teal. That's so cool. Oh, and you float faster too. Nice. I always hated how slow you float. I love the new items. Like games like Master of Time and Seal Palace and Nippy's Adventure didn't have any new items. We saw a new item in Missing Link with the um, hourglass item, but this is like a couple new things. Wow. The items in this room are all technically optional slash missable, so feel free to skip them if you want. Dot, dot, dot. Just take them. <laughs> okay. So a bunch of new items, too? Other new items?
You got the Master Sword. I haven't made a model for this yet, but a better one will display here in the final game. <laughs> okay. Oh, and it automatically equipped it too. Nice. What about this one? You got Ferris Wind. Warp Magic. You will teleport to the one point. When you first use the magic, you'll create a warp point. When you use the magic again... Alright, so that's traditional. Oh, the magic power bar is different uh, texture. What could this be? You caught a fairy in a bottle. Alright. This tiny fairy is reliable and will arrive you the moment you run out of life energy. Cool. And this one. The boomerang. All right, I guess so we don't have to buy that and we can use it as adult link. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. I've always wanted to use the boomerang as adult link too. I don't know why, but I just always have. What is this? Uh, Hylian shield. So our full shield. Nice. Oh, it's a slightly different color too. It's like a lighter blue. Cool. So a bunch of a bunch of items. I love the water bombs and the rocks feather. Oh my gosh, that's like my favorite item from the Game Boy Zelda games. Oh, Let's see ocarina notes. Reminder: You've collected several items by now. Use D-pad down to flip your C buttons over for three more slots. I actually already thought of that, but thank you for the tip. And I like that uh, setup too. All right, what's this gonna be? Ocarina? Kiki's Piccolo. I'm sh I sure hope I replace this filler text by the time the demo releases or it would be really embarrassing. <laughs> I still like it though. I like the uh, little nod there. All right, so we got a uh, Piccolo, so it's not an Ocarina. Probably don't need the Deku Sticks anymore because we have an actual sword, two actual swords. So is this the flute or the Ocarina? Oh, okay, so. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Ah, oh, the Requiem of Spirit. The Sonata of Wind, okay. Warp to Skyloft Ruins. What? Skyloft, that's Twilight Princess, right? Yo. What? This is cool. What does the sign say? Skyloft Ruins. Try jumping off. Uh. But I want to go inside. Um. I like that though. That's pretty awesome. All right, I'll try jumping off like the sign says. See what happens. And oh. <laughs> it puts us back in Hyrule Field. Okay. That was pretty cool. Well, I kind of want to go back there. Although we have the Warp Song now, so we can probably use that to get back. Uh, Requiem of Spirit, but it's uh, the Sonata of Wind. Okay, gotcha. Let's take a quick peek around here first. See what goes on. Oh, we have Magic Power now too. Nice. What else is in the field? Lots of rupees, I see. Oh, what's this? Hello there, lady. I've heard this cave leads to the underground city of Sabrosia. I really want to meet a Sabrosian up close. They're cute. I guess it's closed, but this gate won't budge at all. Darn. This area is not part of the demo. Oh man. I wanted to see the Sabrosian people of uh, Oracle of Seasons. I love Sabrosia. I don't know why I said Sabrosia. It's probably Sabrosia. Oh, I don't know. How do you properly say that? Someone will have to let me know. Do you say it's Suburgia or Suburgia? I don't know. I feel like Suburgia is more how it's supposed to be said. That's cool that those are going to be in the game, though, because Suburgia is cool. Oracle of Seasons is a fantastic game. So, Rock's Feather, um, Suburgia. I see some definite inspiration from the Game Boy games. Game Boy Color games. This Hyrule Castle of some kind. 
Not sure if there's anything over here. This is fenced off. Hello there, mister. Who put this fence up? I wanted to visit the beach today. This area is not part of the demo. Ah. So that'll be the beach, huh? So kind of like Majora's Mask with like Great Bay. But a beach in Ocarina of Time? That would be pretty cool. Alright. Plenty of rupees, that's for sure. What do you have to say, lady? This is Lina City, the last great settlement bef this side of the Scar. I was on my way to do some shopping, but the gate attendant isn't here. Oh, I hope my children are alright. Looks like we'll be waiting a while. The area is not part of the demo. Ah. So, Lina, isn't that um, Oracle of Ages? I think Lina, Lina, so Lina City is like the main town in Oracle of Ages, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Or it's Liburna. Or maybe they're just taking the name for inspiration. Lina. Someone will have to let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure it was Liburna. Or I could be wrong. I'm questioning myself now. Someone let me know. Alright, so that's what's over there. Let's see. You didn't go this way. Fast walk is definitely a uh, godsend here because this is a very open field. Ooh. What is this? Another closed off area, maybe? Probably, I'm guessing. Well, it looks kind of open to me, unless the fence renders. Oh, it's fenced off. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, is it open? What do you have to say? This gate leads to Horon Village. The scar cut right through it. We built the gate soon after. Trust me, you don't want to go in there. Sorry, but this gate's staying closed for our own protection. Not part of the demo. Horon Village, that's definitely... That's um, Oracle of Seasons Town. Horon Village. So definitely... The Game Boy Zelda inspirations, I see. What about this dude? Mr. Beard, hi. Past this fence is Eyeglass Lake. Yep, definitely. It's pretty short, though. If I was able to jump just a little bit higher. Oh, sorry. I mean, keep out. You don't want to go in there. This area is part not, not part of the demo. Alright. But I can get over here, though, if he said if I jump. But is there anything over here? Oh. You just couldn't help yourself, could you? Fine. Enjoy this preview of a new item I'm working on. Oh. No, I couldn't help myself, but thank you for a little thing here, I guess. Oh! Wow. <laughs> I just got trolled. I love it. I definitely love it. <laughs> okay. So new item you're working on. Knocks me off the edge. Nice little tease there. I like it. That was awesome. Oh, now we're back in the uh, snow area. Okay. Oh, we can break this rock now though, right? Because we have the hammer. Is there anything significant there? Let's try it, see what happens. A hole! All right. What are we gonna, ooh. That's pretty cool. Yo. Yo, I love the uh, animated walls there. Congratulations, you found an unfinished scene. My idea is for grottos to have a puzzle to unlock the door inside. This door grants access to the grotto dimension, which connects all grottos together, acting like a fast travel system. Sadly, this is the only entrance and it's not linked up to anything. Sorry. I like that concept, though. Like a fast travel interlinking hub in the hidden holes. That's pretty cool. I love the textures too, like the doors are awesome and the smoky walls are really, really awesome too. Alright. I love all these little teasers to what's to come. I hope it's finished, or it gets finished, because I'm loving all of it so far. Alright, so I guess, um, go back to Hyrule Field. Although I don't think there's anything else for us to do there, because we kind of saw everything, it looks like, I think. 
Oh, can we kill these easier with the, uh... Well, they still hurt like crap. But we can kill them faster, but fire is still ideal, I guess. Alright, let's not anger the masses here. Go away. Yeah. And we're back in the field. So that was the area off to the right. I think we were going clockwise or counterclockwise-ish around. No, we were going clockwise around the field, I think. Yeah, that's where we were. Eyeglass Lake, which was the chest teaser that knocked us off the edge. All right, so um, I think that's it for there. Let's see if we go back to Skyloft Ruins. I like the pitch difference too. Got my little flute. It's not a wind. Warped Skyla of Ruins. Yeah. Well, our time is definitely up there, so I think um, if this is an actual area that we can go into, um, we're going to stop here for now and maybe have a part two where we actually go inside the. Uh, ruins because I don't know how much longer um, that's going to take but it's a really cool area I love the um the skybox here it's really cool it's very mysterious actually it's definitely Zelda fever dream type material for sure especially that like uh entrance there I wish I could get a wider field view of it to make as a thumbnail but I guess I'll have to make do with what I got so yeah, if you liked the video and uh, want to see more, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment if you liked the video and a like if you did like it, leave a like. <laughs> and I'll catch you in part two of whatever we find here. And there's also a part two of the demo that's out that we'll also be um, doing after we finish this part one of the demo. So until then, I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care. Hot.